We are here with Stefan Peters and Ravel, uh, the last year's winner of WDM. Stefan, how are you? Doing great, thank you very much. How does Ravel feel? He feels great. We had a wonderful week here. He's looking for carrots. And yeah, always a bit pushy about it, which is good. He's spoiled. And um, had a wonderful week here, practiced the freestyle on Tuesday. And I hope he goes just exactly like that here tonight and tomorrow. So if you compare him from last year, what is the difference with him? You said that he's just feeling better and better. The, um, the PF is a bit more in place and I can risk it there a touch more and um, it feels even uh, nicer in the contact, even more elastic. We still have the same power that we had before, but we all know it's so easy to just, you know, come up with those um, ideas. But uh, what matters is what the judges think. So how have you done the training to get there? You know, all we've done is um, adding a bit more um, work in the canter. Uh, we're spending a bit more time um, in the warm-up canter. We're basically doing there a bit more fitness. Then we've added the uh, treadmill to the uh, to the workout. So Ravel does that in the afternoon for uh, about 30 minutes. Every day? Um, pretty much every day. And we're also practicing it um, here and there with a slight incline. So just like a like a human athlete working on fitness, and you know i um i don't think the human training and the equine athlete training is uh, is that different when it comes to fitness so for all the viewers that is watching you and admiring you how how do they do to get as good as you are <laughs> how do they do well you know it's the, the bottom line it's a lot of it's a lot of discipline you know i um, always say you can't just say you got to go in and do your best you got to prepare yourself to do the best and you got to put yourself in a position to do your best and that's you know a good uh, personal exercise routine eating well sleeping well so sometimes simple things like that and um, at the end of the day discipline is the bridge between dreams and accomplishments mm. you're also here as a coach right i'm sorry you're also here as a coach to some riders um, yeah you know i'm helping um ann gribbins our national coach a little bit as um you know with with, with a bit teamwork, we've done some clinics together in California and in Florida. It's been a lot of fun. So yeah, a little bit advice, you know, four I see a little bit more than two. And it's, um, it, it's been a pleasure to work with her. And what advice do you give? You know, it's, it's little. We want to have the secrets. <laughs> it, it's the little things, you know, uh, I, I would say so many times, you know, we got to keep, uh, keep our horses honest. We got to keep them supple. Uh, we got to keep them in front of the leg and we try to keep all those things to a very, very high standard. You know, we, we all know what we should expect from our horses, but sometimes the question needs to come up, what do we really expect from our aids? And if we can bring that across, you know, how our horses should feel, you know, that the, that the gas pedal works at any time, that the brake pedal works, um, the steering wheel works, you know, beautifully light and supple. That goes pretty far, you know, then we can easily make the adjustments that the judges want to see. If they say, okay, they're a little bit steeper in the half pass, now a little bit more forward, risk it there a little bit more, then those adjustments are a whole lot more simple. You know, when you have a rideable horse underneath you, it is so easy to say, go for it in the extensions. If, if the horse is not rideable enough, that becomes very difficult. We've been asking our, uh, some of our riders uh, who they bet to win. Uh, and a lot of them are saying Charlotte and Vallegro. So who are you betting? <laughs> you know, you can't put money on your competitors. Um, but uh, the bottom line is I saw um, Charlotte, Charlotte's video in, in London. It looks fantastic. Watched him here a little bit train. I mean, it, it's absolutely outstanding. And it's, it's um, you know, it's a wonderful challenge. It'll be a good competition but the competition is only in the show arena and outside the show arena it's um, it's not so that's the fun part if you would compare Vallegro and Ravel what would you say is the differences and the, the similarities um, you know Vallegro's uh, PF passage work is unbelievable you know he doesn't really touch the ground and I think that's um, what I feel with Ravel and the canter you want to have more ca carrots yeah he certainly <laughs> certainly does and he deserves it and, and what about Ravel? Yeah, you know, his, his canter, <coughs> you know, obviously I'm, I'm a bit prejudiced and I don't think too many horses in the world have a canter like he does. And, you know, his, uh, his pirates have become even more confirmed, a bit smaller, a bit more in place. And, um, 
the changes are gigantic. You know, the canter extensions are out of this world. So there's so many good things, and our plan for today is to show the highlights and hopefully put in a put in a clean test. I know that a lot more than me is going to keep our fingers crossed for you. So good luck to you. Thank you very much.